Home in the Woods by Eliza Wheeler. This is my family. Ray, 14. Mum, 34. B, 12. Lowell, 4. Eva, 3 months. Dal, 2. Rich, 10. Marv, 8. This is me, Marvel, 6. Dad lives with the angels now, and we need to find a new home. Summer. Deep in these woods, we find a shack all wrapped in tar paper. It's hot outside, but the shack looks cold and empty, like I feel inside. You never know what treasures we'll find, says Mom. In the shack, we don't see any treasures. Wooden table, empty crates, box springs, pot belly stove, dusty shelf, rusty oven. But Lowell and Eva find a door in the floor. Below is a root cellar filled with old glass jars, a tin pail, a pile of rags, and a pincher pump that goes up and down, up and down, and out comes a stream of cool, clear water. This place will do fine, says my big brother Ray, but it doesn't seem like much of a home to me. Outside, the ground is a blanket of rotting leaves. Dal and B dig underneath to find soft, dark, rich soil. The seeds from our old garden can go here, says B. When the crystal rains fall, our seeds slowly take root. Some treasures take a little time, says Mum. The songs of happy frogs echo through the trees. The woods are a tangle of birch, poplar, pine, and sugar maple. Mar finds the secret paths of the white-tailed deer woven all around. The paths lead us to a twisting trout creek, an empty beaver lodge, and a blooming berry patch with sweet jewels of blue and red. We fill our pail Marv's hat, Ray's bag. Lowell fills his empty belly. Our laughter echoes through the trees. Autumn. Cool winds come and spice up the air and fill it with rust and ruby leaves. Mum walks into town to do chores for pay, so we take care of chores at the shack. Rich writes them on paper slips that we draw from a hat. Split wood, pull weeds, pick veggies, hang clothes, sweep some, wash up. We fill the glass jars with mum's berry preserves and the harvest from our garden. We'll save them for winter and stack them in the cellar like buried treasure. When we need more supplies, we head to Bennett's General Store. The windows are full of marvelous things. Catalog dresses, pearly sweets, shiny tools, wind-up toys. But Mum's chore money can only buy some basics. Baking flour, soap flakes, lamp oil. We say nothing at all on the long walk home. Back at the shack, we invent a new game, General Store. We can buy anything we want. Rich is the banker. Marv pump, pumps gas. B sells fine hats. Lowell is the jeweler. 
I display mud sweets. Our laughter echoes through the trees once again. Winter. The days are dark and bitter winds blow. Ray and Marv trek out to hunt for food. Bee huddles in the lamp's glow. Mom teaches her that scraps put together make color patchwork. I huddle by the warm stove. Rich teaches me that letters put together make words and words put together make stories. Most days, Ray and Marv return from their hunt with nothing at all, but night they are proud and tall. We plunder our stores and Mum works the oven like magic. A feast for the kings and queens of the forest, Rich says. Baked green beans, soft loaf bread, wild turkey stew, blueberry pie. Snow falls in a blanket of diamonds all around the shack. The jack pines sway above as we fall asleep close together. But Mum stays awake into the night, whispering to the stars. Spring. After many months, warm, fresh air comes pouring into the shack. The cottonwoods are all in bloom. Me and Bee carry Mum's loaf bread and blueberry jam to the neighbor's farm. They fill our pail with milk and our hat with golden eggs. We go slow and careful on the path home. B calls out the flower's names. Pitcher plant, pink lady slipper, dwarf iris, wood violet. The songs of happy birds echo through the trees. Here in these woods, I find my brothers, my sisters, our mum, and me, Marvel. The shack all wrapped in tar paper looks different now, warm and bright and filled up with love, like I feel inside. The End